Remember when discussing the statelessness of the HTTP protocol, we mentioned that we can add some state information to a client-server communication? We can do this using cookies. Cookies have four components. Cookie header lineup HTTP response message, which sets a unique cookie ID value to the user. Cookie header line in the next HTTP request message, which includes the same cookie ID. Cookie file, kept on user's end system, managed by user's browser, which associates the user side of the information for the cookie. And backend database at website, which stores the user information at the server side and associates it to the cookie on the communication with the client. But how those four elements keep a state? So the sender and receiver keep information about previous transactions. The HTTP protocol messages carry the IDs that relate those information at the sender and the receiver side. This allows cumulative information collection about transactions and changes the nature of the communication so that previous communications are not fully forgotten now. Cookies can be used for authorization, shopping carts, recommendation systems, and session information. Can you think of some other applications? Do you think they can be a privacy hazard? I will leave those two questions as a challenge for you.